It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Joanna Yeonjacek and Tisha Tiny Tornado Torres. Well, it's nice to see her relishing the moment here tonight, but as soon as that octagon door closes, the smile goes away and the hands and kicks keep on coming. Gotta think she's interested in keeping this fight standing tonight. Has the decided advantage on the feet. No doubt she'll try to put on a striking clinic in front of the masses here tonight. This girl has amazing top control. She is so good at keeping the fight on the ground. Once she gets you there, it is very rare that you see her lose positions. She's just so strong in the top position. you are staring at one of the most skilled and talented strikers to ever grace the octagon. And a scary proposition to the rest of the strawweight division because Ioana Jacek is only getting better now training under American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. This girl is a Muay Thai expert. Very, very high level kickboxing skills with a full arsenal of striking techniques. She is deadly on the feet. for this strawweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Strawweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer holding professional record on. Two losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Tisha, the Tiny Tornado Torres. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, Yolanda Yelcha! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back this has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down ready? right now. Ready? All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital of the world. Well, you can expect the punches and bunches. Here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Ioana Gion Jacek has a knack for breaking a lot of fighters with her pace, with her work rate, with her output. As good a striker as there is top to bottom on this roster, Poland's Joanna Gionjacek getting back at it tonight. Torres gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, she left her body wide open, Joe, and as such, she paid for it there. Beautifully placed and landed kick to the body. Let's see if she makes the adjustments here defensively to avoid absorbing any more kicks to the body. Yonjajek gets caught with that punch. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Hook to the head there by Yonjajek. Nice jab. Wow, what a back and forth exchange.
exchange. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. She blocks the shot, Joe. Great takedown defense right there. Very nicely done. Yeah, and Jacek gets double underhooks, Joe. He's got the Muay Thai clinch here. There's that foot stop. You don't see him all the time. Still effective, though, in mixed martial arts. Tying up the clinch, looking for openings. Over under now in the clinch. She gets double underhooks here. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Yeon Jaichek. That knee might have landed there. Nice body shot. Pretty good knee there by Yeon Jaichek. Oh, now she's got that tight clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. One underhook. She's got double underhooks now, man. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Torres. Young Jacek's got the over under now. All right, double underhooks for her now. We'll see what she can do. Torres gets caught with that punch. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, she landed that punch, Joe. Beautiful. S switching of directions there and landing that kick. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Yeon Jaichek. 20 seconds left. She missed with that jab. Battling for hooks. Double underhooks. Hook in the clinch there is good by Torres. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Beautiful strike here, lands on target. And here's another clean shot that lands. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. Incredible highlights in that round. All right, you with me? Perfect. All right, listen, I want you to punch into that clinch a little bit better. Don't just reach for it, okay? Don't Brittany Palmer with us. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. All right, so round two is underway here. Both women have their moments in that first round. At times, it looked like they were feeling each other out. And there is a lot of mutual respect here, though. So maybe you thought the crowd got a little bit restless at times. Ultimately, these fighters are both. Wow! This could be it! Oh! from the bottom. Posture's up now, and she lands a huge elbow. Torres's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Back to the feet now. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and started to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. And back up again. Well, overall, her strike... Oh! This could be it! Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. How about that shin? Just missed with the huge kick. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Young Jai. Oh! To the face. Oh! 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 
Excellent sweep. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. She transitions to full guard. And back up again. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Couldn't agree with you more. Oh, that's a good strike there by Yohani Yonjacek. Both oh. fighters exchange in the pocket here. And that's the end of round number two. Hey, stop! Oh, full domination this round. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen, you can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. I want two. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. Third round underway. Can you believe she is able to... Oh, oh very nice. Outstanding output on both sides. Nasty combinations here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, well, oh! 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 Huge punch for the victory. Yeah, that's a big win, Joe, and if you're trying to send a message to the rest of this division, that is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long. And I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. Well, let's see it here again. Check out this angle here. Boom! And that's all she wrote. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yolanda Yonjajek. All right, so congratulations to Yolanda Yonjajek. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. She's just a master of mixed martial arts and making adjustments using her opponent's weaknesses against them. Doesn't hurt that she might just have the best jab in all of MMA, but another vintage effort out of Joanna Yonjecha.